Câncer da Hashem Azafada Azamada E o Ibinixi Today, it's, uh, this week is uh, It's one of the Of the parashiot That uh, A lot of people, they have millions of questions about Abraham Abinu, the way he loved Hashem. The the love to Hashem was without any condition. The way he loved Hashem, the the, the way he loved Hashem, it was with no condition. Sometimes we love somebody for a reason. I'm married, I have a wife. I love my wife for a reason, I don't know why. Because because we share children, because I have my children, I love my children, because they are part of me. But uh, <coughs> the love, he loved Hashem, it was more than his children. It was more than anything else. That is something that we cannot understand. Hashem said to Abraham, take the one you love. And now you're going to do a, ch- a choice between him and me. Do you listen to me? Sacrifice him? Or just would, you will ask me, uh, Hashem, can I ask a sacrifice something else? I can't. I can't uh, tell me something else, but not you. Or, Tell somebody else to sacrifice its hack, but not me. It's hard for me to sacrifice its hack. So from this parasha we see that Abraham Abinu, his love to Hashem was with no condition. And Hashem knows that. So why Hashem want to test him? Hashem knows that Abraham. I have, I, have a, I have a proof that Hashem knows that Abraham he will uh, do. he will do it. So what my proof? Because Hashem he already prepared the ayin. Yeah. Yes. He already prepared the, the animal that Abraham will sacrifice after it. So that means that Hashem knew that Abraham he will sacrifice its heart. He, he know that he'll do it. So, because you know that he do it, so he prepare. I how do you say ayil? Carnero. He prepare carnero. Lamb. The lamb. Where the lamb? The lamb. Okay, the lamb. Let's see the lamb. So he prepare. He prepare the lamb. Hashem prepare the lamb that Abraham will sacrifice after it. When he will say to his heart, don't, don't sacrifice. So the question is, why Hashem get to test Abraham? Hashem knows. And the, you know what is the proof that Hashem knows Abraham? You know, and the proof that for Sodom, Abraham prayed to Hashem not to destroy Sodom. But when it came to its heart, Hashem, Abraham, he did not pray for its heart. He did, he did not have any ag- argument with, with, with Hashem. He just accepted. As, as yes, carry on. Yeah. So, so, so how did does Hashem know? Because he prayed for yeah. stone. It's, it's so important for Hakadosh Baruch Hu. It's very important for Hakadosh Baruch Hu. As you know this, Hashem, we know what I'm going to do. He said, "He know what you're gonna do. Hashem knows everything. So if uh, if if we will see 
for we say that Hashem knows everything until be no story, there be nothing. Hashem give us the choice. Hashem give us the choice. The lip arbit, you know, there is a free choice. I mean, but the free choice should come from you, not that Hashem knows. Because Hashim knows, but you don't know about me. Do I, do, Hashim knows about Abraham. Do I know about Abraham? Nothing. So Hashim, he has to test Abraham. So everybody, so everybody will know who is Abraham. Otherwise, no one will know who is Abraham. Hashim knows that Abraham Abinu, he will resist the, the Nisayon. So he did not, he didn't need to tell him, to ask him, to test him. He knows that Abraham, he, he was strong man. His first choice was Hashem. But HaKadosh Baruch wanted to make known Abraham in the eyes of everybody. Look at Abraham. Look what money is. This is the real. Now, look, Bemet, I'm telling you, this is the, the truth. Abraham, Abinu, Arab, Shalom, to save people, he will pray to Hashem for people, to save people. But when it comes to its hack, he can't pray to Hashem for his hand. You know why? Because Hashem, he told him, take your son, if you love me, take him, sacrifice him. So, if Abraham will start to tell Hashem, please Hashem, why you want to do this? Why? So there is no test. So what is the test? The test is not, not to ask questions. The Gemara said that Abraham, if he wanted he could say to Hashem, you told me when I had Ishmael, you told me, and that was you take you Hashem to give me Ishmael, you told me, no, you will have its heart. Keep its heart, you will have its heart, and from its heart you will have, you will have a descendant. So Abraham could say to Hashem, Hashem, you told me that from its heart I will have generations. Now you tell me to, to sacrifice him. Even that he didn't say it. You know why? You know what he said? Because if you will say Hashem, but Hashem, I don't understand. Please, Hashem, just have a question. I don't care. No, Hashem. No, no. You know, Hashem, I love you. No discussions. I will sacrifice him. But you told me. But, but you can explain to me. When you told me, this and this and this, now you tell me, sacrifice him. I don't understand. Why? Abraham Abinu, Allah Shalom, if you will ask this to Hashem, that means he has doubt. He did not pass there. That means he has a lot of times a question could be a doubt. Usually when we ask a question, or I want to know, or because there is a doubt, I want to know the reason. So Abraham bin Abba Shalom, he said to himself, I can't ask this question, but if I ask this question, <coughs> maybe some people will understand that I had a doubt. Not a shame. Hashem, he knows that for, from Abraham there is no doubt. But Abraham, you know, oh, what he was doing, what people will say. Maybe people will say that Abraham had in it up. Look, Abraham, you know, Allah Shalom, his big Nisayon, his big test is, at that time, people used to sacrifice their children for Abu Dhabi. And now Hashem said to Abraham, sacrifice your son. So, he had a problem. What, what people is going to tell me? People is going to say, he, he was screaming, why people sacrifice his children, and he sacrifices his son for, for his God? Even that, Abraham, he did not ask. He, he had a uh, he, he, he could ask. No, I said, he could ask to Hashem to give him an explanation. But even that explanation, he did not ask. Why? Because he said, if Hashem asked me, he told me this, so what his order is above all my questions. If Hashem asks me this, so that means all kind of my questions are zero. Hashem knows that he told me that from its heart I will have generation. Hashem knows that, uh, that I was fighting all the people who sacrificed the children. Mm-hmm. And, it, 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 and even that he tell me to do this, to sacrifice my son. So if he knows, he knows what he's doing. It's, I'm not the man to ask questions. And that's why Hashem, He chose Abraham. And He told him, I love you. He told him, You are Yeri Elohim. You, you, you fear Hashem. Why? 
obtenant, obtenant, Abraham est dit de faire Hachem. Hachem, qui a dati, qui est le Kemat. That you fear Hachem. You know what I said, Yere? The word Yere, it's all fear, or Yere, it's looking. To look, to see. To look, to see. Abraham a vu dans la vache à All his life, he see one thing. Hashem. 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 Now we understand why for its hack has no discussions. He did not discuss. Uh, why? Because, because for Abraham Abino, he, he, he went, he did what he did with, with joy, with happiness, with, with simha. With simha. What he did, it was with simha. And if he let the man act told him stop, he didn't want to stop. I, I could it. I could it. Twice. So he told him, Don't do nothing to him. Why? What does that mean? Don't do nothing to him. He because to he wanted to do good. Just, just a little. A, fl- a, fl- a, fl- a bit of blood. <laughs> <laughs> so a little, a, a little bit of blood. I mean, to, to, keep, to keep him alive, but just a little bit of blood. He said, he told him, Don't do nothing. That's it. Basta. Stop. So, now you understand. Now you understand. What was now? We, now, we, now, 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 I start to answer your questions. Now, Moshe Gopas, the Balabait, he asked a question. On Yom Kippur, on Rosh Hashanah, we say, the one who answers Abraham, he should answer us. In Haramoria, because Abraham, he prayed something in Haramoria. If I think you forgot his study, we didn't look, look at, at Rashi. Because Rashi said something. Rashi said that Abraham, he prayed to Hashem, Hashem, do me a favor. Consider that I did the Shita to its hack. Consider that I burned its hack. Consider that I did all this for you with no meaning. Please, I know that my children they will not they will not follow the step of Hashem. They will not be tzaddik. Please forgive them. At this was in the year mm-hmm. Rosh Hashanah when when this happened when they pray for forgiveness. Remember what I did for you. Rashi said that. That was the truth. Misha ana le Abraham beharam oya, oya alena. Rashi, that's what Rashi said. So he answered Hashem that he's so, going to forgive so us. So Hashem he said to Abraham Abino, I will forgive him. I will go forgive him. Now I have a big hey, baby, I have a big question, a big a big question. Hashem he said to Abraham, do the shechita to it. As we, we just explained, Abraham, he did a big sacrifice. But who was Behemet, the one who suffered, yes. who's going to suffer? It's Hak. Because it's it's Hak. It's Hak, it's, it's Hak who's going to be killed now. Not Abraham. We always say, Hak, that it's Hak. <laughs> so the Nisayon was for its Hak. Not, not for Abraham. It's more for it. I think it was more for its hack than Isaiah. Because, because then uh, Abraham is going to remain alive. <coughs> but its hack is going to die. But what is alive? <coughs> and uh, so, permit the Nisayon, it's for Abraham, not for its hack. But the answer is, of course, <coughs> the Nisayon was for Abraham, for its hack. But Abraham, the Nisayon is more for him than it's hack. Why? Because Abraham knows what it's hack does know. He knows a lot of things it's hack. Abraham. Abraham knows that when he was in Haran, Hashem promised him, Lech Lecha, when you will be 100 years old, you will have a baby. A baby boy. And Hashem promised him, from this baby boy, you will build the Jewish people. And Hashem told him, it's hack, and called him, it's hack. And then a lot of miracles happened to Abraham because of its hack. So now Abraham has a big problem. All those promises. 
That's what she promised me. It's hard for him. I love, he loves so much Hashem. I'm happy to be, let's say, but for Abraham, a small little thought or a small little doubt on Hashem, he lose the Nisayon. He lost his, his, he lost his test. That was the Nisayon. Every second, since the beginning, that has be said, the Elohim Nisayon Abraham, the Nisayon started. Nisayon, not for action. A lot of, a lot of times, I can do a big sacrifice in the morning. I give a big tzedakah, big check. All my money I give it. Big Nisayon. Somebody come for, for a, you know, he said I was reading a beautiful story. I went to, when I was in Ukraine, I, w- I went to, 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 to the cave of Rabbi Pinhas Mikaritz. You know where he's, where, where, you know where he's buried, Rabbi Pinhas Mikaritz? Yeah. He's buried in the, he, 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 it's in the middle of bus station, yeah. and there is a room there, yes. and the buses, a room there, a room. And there you have to give yeah. So that means all that bus, uh, that era, the, it was a cemetery, they destroyed everything, and they made their bus station. Jewish. It was a Jewish cemetery, it <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> uh, the Ukrainian people, they did, they did a cemetery. Uh, and, a, 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 a a post- and just to give with, with a room there. And he said, I, 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 I saw a beautiful, a beautiful story about him. One day, uh, a couple came. A couple came. They have a big problem. They want to get married tonight, and the uh, the chatan has no money. Want to buy a ring? Uh, no, a ring, talit, everything. Uh, the chatan, no, not the chatan, the kala. The kala had uh, no money, and uh, it was a big problem. So they want to to have people has bikaris. And the people has because they were, they were very poor people, you know, at that time people were very, very, very poor. He did not know what to do. Tonight the Kupa? No money. There is no money. It was the winter. Everybody home. He went to collect money from people. The people give him uh, uh, sh- it's nothing. It was nothing to, to to buy nothing. <laughs> Ten it's, it was nothing <laughs> to buy nothing. <laughs> so, he saw there the tailor. He knocked at the door, he went inside, and the tailor, ah, Rabbi, 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 Bochaba, Bochaba. He said, what, what do you want? He said, he told him the whole story. Okay, I give you hundred dollars. Ah, Boch Hashem. On this, thank you, thank you. But I need a little bit more. The tailor said, How much you need? <laughs> I need, <laughs> I need a thousand dollars. He said, All my economic is a thousand dollars. Here's the money. But one condition give me your Alamaba, or half of your Alamaba, or a quarter of your Alamaba. The people has because he said, if I have Alam I'll give it to you. Okay. He took the money and he married them. And? And they got married. And now, the people has because it's Rabbi Shalom. For me, it's a big, it's a big, for me it's a big tzaddik. I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't know if I have Alam Abba. But I, I don't think that I will give, if I have, I don't think I will sell it. I don't think I will give my Alam Abba to somebody. I'm telling you, first, I'm not sure that I have a Olam Abba. I don't know if I have or I don't have. And if, if I do have, it's a risky for me to give it to somebody. What about after? What about after? The, on the other hand, that Tyler, that Imunah that he has, he gave a thousand dollars, all his money, for Olam Abba that he doesn't know if there is or there isn't. It's a doubt. You can imagine, it's a big Nisayon. <coughs> this is Abraham Abinu. Abraham Abinu give us a derech. A derech. No he give us, he show us a, a way how to love Hashem. Abraham Abinu al he could, he could, that's what, that's what we, we say, the Nisayon, 
Elohim he said that and Hashem he, he made Abraham into test why? because the test was big it was not just the test to take take your stone and do shkita the test is all the question that he has about that shkita if in your question is a test I mean can I discuss to Hashem with Hashem or not? The same way I discuss with Hashem about about the storm. Maybe I can discuss, but if you discuss, that means you you reduce the, the test. That mean uh, that mean uh, you don't uh, have doubt. You yeah, have uh, not doubt. That mean you don't want. Rabbi David Moshe Rabbeinu, why did he say to Hashem, I don't? No, no, we talk about Abraham okay. first. <laughs> so we see why, why Abraham. Now, now you see why Hashem loved Abraham more than Moshe, because Hashem said to Abraham, Hashem said to Moshe, Moshe, you are nothing to compare. You cannot compare yourself to Abraham because one day Moshe said to Hashem, why we don't say Eloke Moshe, Eloke Abraham, Eloke Yitzhak, Eloke Yaakov? He said because Abraham said they never said why, they, they, they never said no. And you, what would you say? Why, why, you why? No. What would you want to negotiate? I never Abraham, it's Hak and Yaakov did it in negotiation with me. I told him, go to Israel. He go to Israel, there is no food. And then it, he told him, go to Egypt. I mean, all his life was tested. And that's why Akadosh Kulor Abraham. Now, you understand why? Hashem, Abraham Abeni took the opportunity to pray to Hashem, please Hashem, now that I resisted the test, no, please, one thing I ask you, my children, I don't know, my, my, my generation, Maybe. my descendants, I don't know if they will be like me, but please, at okay. least, okay. forgive okay. them, forgive for them, this. forgive them, do it for me, what I did for you, do for me, please, do so I can for you, now, what was your question? Lama rak lelot lakuoto lachutza b'mayim asher. Okay, what was your question? Your question? Lama Hashem lipsor basarot pam lesarai mamelachim. Now, your two questions have nothing to do with Abraham Avinu. They have nothing to do with Abraham Avinu. Right. First. You have to know one thing. Hashem is said to Abraham, Hashem is said to Abraham, <coughs> take your, your son, sacrifice your son. Abraham, he did exactly what Hashem asked for him. That was a big test for Abraham. For its heart, it was not a big test because Abraham, his heart, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die for Hashem. But for Abraham, he has questions. He has to live with it. Besides that, he have to live with it. But maybe. Those questions that you could ask Hashem, he will think after, why I didn't ask them to Hashem before? before. Mm. That's going to be again a big test. But Abraham, he don't, he don't, uh, for him, he went for Hashem. But when Hashem, he sent the Malach to say to Abraham, stop, why it's not Hashem who said to them, Abraham, stop? Why a Malach? Why Hashem didn't send? Hashem, he said to Abraham, Abraham, Take your son, do what you love, do a shkita. And then Abraham did what Hashem told him. Then what happened after? He said to Malach, hey, Abraham, Abraham, yes? <coughs> Stop, don't kill. Who are you? I am, I came from Hashem. He told me to tell you. He believed him. And then again, the Malach appeared again. And he gave him a bracha. For me, it was. Uh, it's. It's not agreeable. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not fair that to ask me to kill my son. You, 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 you ask me to talk to me, <laughs> and then when I did what you tell me, you sent me an angel. Tell me you don't don't send you. Why you sent me a malach? Why do that? Why why do? From here you see something incredible. From here you see. How much Abraham Alav Shalom, this test of this Nisayon of the Akedah, it was a test before the Akedah, 
and he was a test after the Akeda. Why? Because Abraham <coughs> said to himself, why oh, actually does he speak to me? Is he upset with me? Is he upset with me? After all what I did? And then then Abraham, 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 you could say, What's going on? Share. You tell me, take your son, the one you love, and sacrifice him. And now you say, Never. They said, Amarach is Amarach, but what? Why not you? Why is not you? You appear to me and tell me, and tell me, Stop, thank you, Abraham, I love you. Why is that? And not only that, twice the Malach came. Twice. And even that's what Abraham did, he prayed to Hashem. Abraham, Hashem, you say how much I love you, so please, don't forget my children. Take care of them. Is there another? Yeah, 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 yeah. That means that the test of Abraham, it is why, so the question is why Hashem, why Hashem did that to Abraham? You know why? Why? You know why? Hashem you want to teach to teach us that sometimes you have to accept what he does. Sometimes we don't expect, we don't we don't understand Hashem. We don't understand him. You make the thought of Hashem is not your thought. The way you think, it's not the way we think. Hashem has his own reason. Abraham could ask questions, but suddenly Abraham said, no. If Hashim did that, he must have his own reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I don't deserve. <coughs> Maybe I, with all what I did, it's still not it's not enough for Hashim. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, enough so, maybe I didn't have. But according to the Torah, he had the same kavanot. As the Torah said, that, that he sacrificed the, the lamb, tahat beno. All, all the work, all the kavanot, all the, the, the work that, that he wanted to do on its hat, he did it on the lamb. So that means it was perfect. Per- even that perfection, he did not ask why Hashem did not appear to me. And then his wife, she died. He accepted it. And he didn't have to buy the he land. Didn't, he didn't, and, and everything said belonged to him. And he, he to bought the land. Oh, how much we have to learn. Now, you, I would like just to tell you this. Hashem, he loved so much Abraham Abinu. He loved him so much. You listen to this, huh? He... he he gave a good news to Abraham, you're going to have a baby. Okay, thank you, Hashem. Thank you, thank you, I believe. And then, Hashem, he sent, then he did the Brit Mila, and he sent him <coughs> free Malachim. So the question is, why Hashem sent the Malach to announce to Abraham to tell Sarah that she's going to have a baby? In a way, the, the Torah, it said that Hashem, he said to Abraham, you're going to have a baby. And you will name it, it's Ak. Yes or no? Okay. So Abraham, you could say that to Sarah. So why this Malach? This Malach, it's one of, I don't, uh, the Malach said, Ka'et Haya, next year, this time, you know what the Gemara said? The Gemara said that the Malach, he took his hand. He did, and he, he took some uh, oil, and he made, he made a mark in the wall, in the wall. He said, you see this, you see this, uh, mark. this mark? <coughs> Every time you see this mark, remember that one year you have a baby. Oh, oh. Uh, the question is, we don't need that. <coughs> yes, we don't need that mark. We did nothing. Yes or no? Yes. Hashem, you see the Abraham, you have a baby next year, that's it. You know why Hashem did that? Because Hashem knew that they're going to be a big, big test. Big, big Nisayon that Hashem is going to do to Abraham Abino. And it was very important for Hashem that the Malachim will announce to Abraham he's going to have a baby. The Malachim 
who's got, and, and then the Malachim will see how Hashem is said to Abraham sacrifice the baby and there is the Malachim who will come to tell him stop it was the lesson for the Malachim a lesson for the Malachim <coughs> look what a human being can do look how a human being he live with the Yitzhara he live in this world with big Yitzhara he did not have any thought, no doubt, nothing about Hashem. It was very important because Bemet, you're right. Hashem said to Abraham, I'm sure that Abraham said that to Sarah. No, but Hashem did something else. That Malachi came, he speak again to, to Abraham, and Sarah she was behind the door, she was listening, laughing. and she was laughing. I mean, I mean we don't need that. To Malachim. Do we see how much they're going to be happy, the parents? And this Malachim, do we see how much Hashem, how much Abraham love Hashem? That if you tell him sacrifice, he will do it. That's why Hashem is sent the Malach. The Malachim, who saw the good news, and they heard the bad news, and they see those same Malachim, they will come to them stop. You are the best. Amen. Now we know that you are a brilliant really <coughs> You are better than us. We are nothing compared to you. We need to be there. There there is no Israel. You live with Israel and you do what you do with. Now we testify that Yere Elohim Ada. Now The difference between Abraham and Lot. Abraham is Sodom and Achim. Yes. And Lot is Sodom and Achim. So what was the, what was your question? Yeah. One thing he said I heard from my children. It was beautiful. I don't know where 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 where, where, where they saw that. So uh, really beautiful. He said, what is was the difference between Abraham and Lot? Abraham, <coughs> he made a big sacrifice to receive the Malachim. Lot, it is the same. Lot, even he proposed his, his daughter to the Tzlomim, to rape them, mm-hmm. just, to, just, <laughs> just, just not to kill those, those visitors. And it's, it's incredible. We see that Lot is a tzaddik as well. How can we see he's a Rasha, he's a Tzadik? The difference is, when Abraham, he will come, he will come to the, 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 the Malachim, he, the Torah said, free Shlusha Anashim. He saw, he thought they were free people, free men. So he did, all what he did, it was because they were men. But not what he did for those Malachim, because he saw that they were Malachim. So it's easy for a malach to do a lot of things. Now, now you forgot, you, you miss a pasuk. When Lot he went to his, with, to the his uh, son-in-law, they came to Atiyah beinim. They start to laugh at him. They didn't go with him. Nachon, aval aval basof. No, nothing else. No, Maybe if, if he has others married, he didn't come because they were laughing at him. But these were the daughters that he wanted to give no, to No, but the, the, the two that he took with him, they were only engaged. With these two men. With these two men, these two men, they were laughing. So they died. They, they died. They died. <laughs> now, according to your question, uh, Lot, he prayed for Tzohar mm-hmm. and Abraham, but it, uh, and, and we see that Abraham is, he couldn't pray for Sodom, and Lot he prayed for Tzohar, 
and this prayer was uh, was uh, accepted. Accept. So it, I think you have to always you don't miss Rashi. I love Rashi. You know, you can ask me. I am a Pashtun. You know, in the Gemara, you can ask me if there is a Rashi on that Gemara. Any question you can ask me, I can find the answer only through the words of Rashi. Rashi said that Mitzar, they were not a hundred percent Rishai. That way the Tfila was accepted. But when Abraham Akhmi prayed, he prayed for Sdom, they were all Rishai. So that, that way his Tfila wasn't accepted. But, 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 maybe you will ask me a question. Why Abraham did not pray for Mitzar? Mm-hmm. Why he did not pray for Mitzar? Why? Maybe Abraham, he said to himself, it's not fair that I pray for one city, not for the others. I pray for all. It's that way he, he prayed for all. Or maybe he saw his Ruach HaKodesh that Lot he will be in trouble, so maybe he will pray. So there is a. A companion of I, this parasha is the best. <laughs> this parasha, it's a. <laughs> what, I, what I tell you, what I tell you. Abraham Abinu Arab Shalom. Behemet. Behemet Abraham Abinu Arab Shalom. Who is a tzaddik? That's why. He looked at Abraham, he looked at his heart, he looked at Yaakov. Magen Abraham. Any kind of, of problem that we can have, Abraham is happy Yaakov, they went through all the problems that we can have. Parnassah, Shlom Bayit, everything. Like, like for instance, what I Abraham Abinu, Hashim promised him to be rich, he was poor. He was poor. He had to borrow money in Israel. He had to borrow money. Yeah, I, I mean, he, he could say, I was in Haran. I was a millionaire there. I had uh, big factories. I had everything there. I had a big issue was there. He told me, go to oh. Israel. I give you, you I got that ship. You will be a millionaire. You will be rich. I have get children. And I'm a poor man. And Abraham, he can't accept to be poor. Because Abraham was a bad stacker. He was about Hesed. Hesed Abraham. He has nothing, he had no money to do Hesed. This is a big test for him. Hashem, I want to be like you. I want to be Hesed. I can't hear. And he did not know did he? he borrowed money. So when he became rich in Egypt, he went back to other places where very right. poor money to pay, pay back. back all today unfortunately a lot of people they borrow money what they don't have and once they have they forgot to pay back or they say well what should I pay him back he's rich no do like Abraham please bam it anything you want to know from Abraham now don't forget as you said, the Shebera that Lot had, you know why? That Abraham Abinu, he heard that uh, Lot, he went with his daughters. You know why? Because the daughter of, of, of Lot, she called her son Moab. What, what does it mean, Moab? Me'ab. From my father. So, I had this from my father. I had to be for my father, so that was that was a big shame. For from here, you understand that always have to to get out from somebody who has a bad name, not to be near him, and go somewhere else. Why? For two reasons. First, he is his nephew. Can you imagine? His nephew, he went out with his daughter. He is his son. He lived next to Abraham. It's not a... Uh, it's not it's not, it's not, a, it's not good. So Abraham, never live next to something that is bad. There was somebody who, who was looking for a house, 
and after after so many months he found a beautiful house and suddenly they opened the cinema next to him and he came he said what I'm gonna do I don't even have to leave but I spent a lot of money for the house I said leave why? It's not good for the, for the, for the children. Okay. And he listened. Now what happened? So the one who took the house, he was very happy to take the house because he, everything there was perfect. And uh, he had no choice, he had to leave. My friend, two months ago he got divorced. Why? Because that cinema, there was the bad films, bad pictures. And one night, uh, his wife, she catch him there. It's on. And it's on. And he got divorced. Mm. So this is a... Uh, yeah.